Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, uh, this is Nitin here and today I'm going to discuss one problem from uh, rotational mechanics uh, concept of physics. So let's uh, choose uh, one problem here. So recently we have completed this uh, rotation COP phase one of uh, part one, part one of phase one. So there are uh, many more things we are going to add in this. So you can uh, see here, let's pick up uh, one uh, problem, a good one, okay, mm. two rod system was there, okay, this is the problem, let's uh, discuss uh, this here. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, two thin rods, uh, rigid rods are there, each of length one meter. Uh, we can have L1 and L2 length uh, as well here, okay. Uh, <clears throat> as shown in the figure, the rod OA is rotating with constant angular velocity of omega naught, which is 1 radian per second. And determine the acceleration of point A, velocity of point uh, B. You can see in the diagram uh, where these, I don't have pointer here. Next time I'll uh, try to bring the pointer so that you can uh, see where exactly I'm uh, talking about. But here in the diagram, it's very much uh, clear. Acceleration of point A, velocity of point B, and ac acceleration of uh, rod AB. So this is given to us, and uh, constant omega is given for uh, rod OA. All right, so let's start this question, and it has a very uh, good approach, little different. So you can uh, see here, uh, this is the situation and uh, since theta angle which is uh, at given instant its value is 30 degree and this angle phi also has angle of uh, 30 degree value at that particular instant but these values are going to change so you can see in the diagram theta is uh, uh, decreasing so I'm writing as minus d theta by dt is equal to omega naught and its value is given as 1 radian per second now this question is based on uh, constraint relation so here we are going to use a different level of uh, cons uh, uh, constraints there are many methods for solving this question you can use instantaneous axis of rotation as well but here the idea is to explain you that this constraint can be of any form so constraint is basically a limitation a restriction so here restriction is distance of point o from the ground can never change I hope you can uh, understand uh, this part and point B velocity will be this horizontal distance which is a derivative of uh, 1 sin theta 1 cos phi. So here this uh, length you can uh, see from the top it is 1 cos theta and 1 sin phi. So this distance itself we can say it has to be constant no matter how these two rods are moving this distance is going to be fixed all the time. So we are going to use this. Uh, 1 cos theta plus uh, 1 sin phi equal to constant or cos theta plus sin phi is a constant. This is going to be the constraint for us. d phi by dt will be related to omega of rod 2 and d theta by dt will be related to omega of rod 1. So when we differentiate this, uh, we are having minus sin theta d theta by dt and plus cos phi d phi by dt. So from here d phi by dt value we are getting which is sin theta cos theta uh, times d theta by dt which is uh, if we substitute the values we know theta value we know phi value at this instant and we know d theta by dt which is omega of rod 1 so if we are going to substitute sin 30 divided by cos 30 uh, times uh, d theta by dt is minus 1 so we when we substitute this value we are getting d phi by dt which is omega of rod 2 as minus 1 by root 3 magnitude is 1 by root 3 negative sign represent that phi decreases now again we can come back to this uh, equation and if we uh, differentiate it one more time then uh, uh, alpha of uh, rod 1 is 0 because omega was constant for it but alpha of rod 2 uh, will be represented by d2 phi by dt square we can get the value of it and it will come with the sign so let's differentiate this equation one more time and uh, we are going to get uh, sin theta d2 theta by dt square plus uh, 
d theta by d two because another term is zero. So you just you just be careful here. You can see d two theta by d t square is zero. So there is no need to write that part. So I hope it is uh, clear to you and will not uh, create any trouble. By the way, here instead of plus um, uh, dot sign will come. And similarly, right side you can differentiate, and from here you can get this uh, value of uh, alpha rod two. Uh, which is uh, d2 phi by d2 square bring everything one side substitute the values and we are going to get this uh, angular acceleration of rod 2 as 3 root 3 plus 1 by 3 root 3 it's a very nice uh, problem in my opinion and uh, uh, we have solved it using a uh, different approach unconventional approach and you can try this question by making instantaneous axis of rotation for uh, rod 2 because we know the velocity of end a at the same time we know velocity of end b so you can drop perpendiculars to them and wherever it will intersect that will give you the uh, instantaneous axis of rotation using that you can calculate omega and alpha of rod 2 as well so i hope you have uh, enjoyed these problems there are uh, many such problems concepts tricks uh, present in the cop books so it has been uh, receiving a lot of uh, traction and uh, uh, praise from the students. They love the, the way we have developed it. We are going to make uh, these books as a one-stop single solution for uh, all your JE mains, advanced and advanced uh, and Olympiads preparation. So that's it in this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching this. I'll be bringing more such problems very soon.